What is going on guys and welcome back to Daniel Out of Doors. Today we have an amazing insect for everyone to see. I was out here actually going to be doing the next upcoming video but I found this insect and I just I had to show it with you guys. So we go down here to my tire we have a tobacco hawk moth also known as a Carolina Sphinx moth. These beautiful moths only live to about 30 to 50 days once they emerge from their pupas. I said pupa. Pupa and are absolutely beautiful with their dark markings. Now I'm gonna see if I can pick this one up Got it flying away as we are in the daytime. This little guy right here is going to be susceptible to a lot of birds. So if they start flail flailing around, I'm just going to leave them right where they're at. That's now when handling insects like this, you just want to kind of get up underneath them. Just kind of slowly. Guide them into the pond. Yep, yep, I know, I know. I know I probably woke you up from your nap. Never pick up a moth by its wings or a butterfly because you actually rub some of the scales off on your hands and makes it so that they can't fly. Just sit down quick. What a beautiful moth. You see those orange patterns there? That actually is what differentiates them from their relatives, the tomato worms. You may not know this, but tomato hornworms are actually not the same as the species. They look visually similar and are actually very closely related, but they are a different species. They have red horns instead of white ones, like this. And I think they live slightly longer. This type of moth is actually from the Carolinas, but was brought over here on plants from the tobacco trade. They do no harm to the native plants and are actually half decent pets. They drink nectar just like any other moth or butterfly with a curled up proboscis that is tucked just under their head there. It's almost like a giant crazy straw. They're very furry just like any other type of moth and very, very calm, surprisingly. Now, being a moth, which means you're going to be eaten by just about everything. So, these guys like to kind of chill out in dark places, like tree branches, large bushy plants, stones, and yes, under cars. Now then, an interesting fact about their caterpillars is that they ingest the... nitrite or something like that from the tobacco plants and it actually makes them poisonous. That's right. The Don't get these caterpillars mixed up with the ones from the pet shop because they will kill whatever you feed them to. Being tomato worms are a popular choice of um, snacks for bearded dragons and most lizards. Don't just go picking up caterpillars or any other type of insect outside. That goes for everything you may find. Because you can kill your animal. Because you don't know what they were contaminated to. Just trying to keep this little guy out of the wind. That way he doesn't feel like he's being threatened and decide to take off. Now. These moths here in particular, their caterpillars ingest the nitride from the tobacco plant 
and will actually cause them to become poisonous. Even though I just said that, a recent study, and by recent I mean the 90s, uh, concluded that if fed a diet of nitrate depleted tobacco, they were actually um, exposed to predation from wolf spiders. Now that's just straight up animal abuse because that's taken away their only defense mechanism, despite that their caterpillars will actually bite and try and jab with the horn on the back of their bodies. But you should never expose an animal to something that renders their defense mechanisms null and void. I think that we have tampered with the sky for enough, so I am going to put him back. And I may have not mentioned it in my previous videos, but when handling an animal, always make sure to put them back exactly where you found them. This way that they can camouflage back in perfectly and it reduces the risk of them moving throughout the day. Thus making them more exposed to predators, especially insects, because everything eats them. Now then, give you one last look. And I have to get you back where we found you. It's okay. It's fine. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I know. I know. It's all right. Try and get your grip. And he's gonna crawl back there. That's actually the best spot for him because he is gonna be completely safe from predators. Thank you for watching. You'll find the links where you can find me in the description below. And I hope you all are having a blessed day. See you next time. Mm -hmm.